21-year-old junior Daniel Coffey never imagined he would shave his head. Well, every brother um, is asked to participate in the sense that they all are asked to raise money to some extent. Um, but it was more of a choice if you wanted to actually shave your head or not. Um, and I decided I would only shave my head if I reached my $250 goal. Um, and I ended up breaching uh, over a little over $300. So at that point, I had to. So I, you know, shaved my head. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> for coffee, shaving his head was a big change, but one for a worthwhile cause. According to Nick Mazzoni, chair of the philanthropy department of ATO, the St. Baldrick's is the number one child cancer organization that serves research grants, and they found the perfect opportunity to give back to the community. Incredible way to give back. I mean, to help these children get the chance to see adulthood is what we're going for here. It's a great way to just give back to these children who need the help, and we're able to help them, so it's a really good feeling. Between laughter, screams, and a lot of hair falling, ATO is investing in a better future for thousands of children with cancer in the United States. It means a lot to me, this organization, and so like to just to see it, it almost was kind of like a manifestation of all the work I've done and all the money I've raised for it. Luisa Vieira, Reno TV News.